Hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful cancers. This is Queen of Moon Rock coming to you with a very special reading on today. Hope y'all are having a great waxing crescent moon day. <laughs> but then again, I know you are a cancer because that's the intention you set. We have a lot to talk about, so we're going to jump right into it, cancer. We're going to jump right into it. Yes, cancer. Let's go. Most high God in the universe. Please give me a special reading for my wonderful cancers as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power, intellect, money, and wealth, creation creativity and emotions and spirituality and where they need to take action. Yes, Cancer. Yes, yes, yes. Where they need to take action. Yes. All right, Cancer. I want you all to say it loud and proud. I am a Cancer. I am a sweetheart, right? Everybody knows that Cancers are sweethearts, you know. <laughs> Everybody knows that you all are sweethearts. I want you to say I am a God. I am empathetic. I give my absolute best. I really don't hold back my emotions. I am charming. I am tenacious. I am highly imaginative. I am loyal. I am persuasive. I am emotional in a good way. And I am sympathetic. Yes. You have that den mother energy. Yes. Den mother energy. Oh, I'm liking these cards for you, Cancer. Oh, looky, looky, looky. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> Listen. Cancer. So listen, okay, here we go. We have the three of pentacles. Let me put this right here. We have the fool and upright, which is awesome. Uh-huh. We have the tower card. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes. We have the wheel of fortune spinning in your favors. Yes, Cancers. Yes, I'm so, when I saw these, I was like, oh, 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 let me hurry up and get this out real quick. But I want to just slow it down a little bit. We have the King of Cups. Yes. We have the Three of Wands. Yes. Yes, 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 indeed. Yes, indeed, Cancers. Looky, looky, looky here. Listen, Cancers, your, well, I want to, I don't even want to say enemies. I'm talking about the people who are confused <laughs> with their love for you are having a tower moment right now. I'm getting somebody is having a nervous breakdown and actually a nervous breakdown is really not funny. So that's certainly what I'm not laughing at. I'm giddy because I'm looking at your cards and I'm like, oh my God, you got good fortune spinning in your favor. And you also have a fresh new start and a new beginning, right? All the things. Okay. So the tower card is two parts, right? So the tower card lets me know that <clears throat> and when my people say tower, they say, oh my God, I'm having a tower moment. It's not always a bad thing. So tower moment, okay, lets me know several things. One, you are divinely protected, right? No weapon formed against you is prospering at all. As a matter of fact, your enemies are being immediately destroyed. And I'm talking about their belief systems, okay? Their BS, their belief systems are being destroyed. Things about you that they once thought, they're like, man, I really thought cancer was this. I thought cancer was that. I'm starting to think differently, right? Some of them are being a little stubborn, but their tower moment feels like hell for them. It feels like, oh shoot, why am I going through so much stuff? Why does everything seem like it's falling apart for me? Why? Because you came up against cancer, right? <laughs> yes. So, <clears throat> but on your side, your tower moment for you is immediate um, revelation of information coming to you, right? You have nothing to worry about. Everything that tries to come up against you, cancer, is actually being destroyed. It's literally belief systems are being destroyed, plots, plans, schemes, traps, that people are trying to set for you are being destroyed. All sorts of things are being destroyed because you're covered. This is in the workplace. This is in your family life. This is in every aspect of your life. You are covered, completely covered, divinely covered. So you have nothing to worry about. Now, what's beautiful about this waxing crescent moon is this is the time to focus on what you want, right? We had the new moon already. That was a quiet creativity time. That was a time where you would just really kind of, and this was you and everybody, like just a good time to kind of sort of doing some brainstorming. What are you going to do? Putting together your vision board, all of that stuff. But now is the time to start setting your intentions. I mean, like really sitting down and setting your intentions. I intend to what? Have a great day every day. Yes. Remember, like when I started my readings, I said today is a great day because that's the intention you set. That lets you know that no matter what, you're putting that out in the universe, right? You're planting those seeds. So anything that tries to come up against you to destroy your great day that you've already set, your intention that you set, is going to be moved out of your way. Yes. 
Love it, love it, love it. So you have the wheel of fortune spinning in your favor. That's great karma that you've been putting out and it's coming right back around to you, right? So you have nothing to worry about. And this is a fresh new start, a new beginning for you. So this is great, Cancer. I'm so excited for you all. I'm talking about perfect synergy in the workplace. Again, you're covered. I'm talking about, you know, you're at peace with yourself. It's like you're sitting on water, right? You're cool, calm, collected. You're seeing things at a God level of clarity, which is not surprising at all yet for you. You're focusing on your mindfulness. And on top of that, even though you are divine feminine by default, you're tapped fully into your divine masculine side too. So your energies are balanced out and you're sort of in expectancy mode, right? So what I mean by that, Cancer, is you're focusing on the things that you want. You're saying, okay, I'm walking by faith. If I can't see them with my natural eyes, I can see them here, right? That my crown chakra, right? At that God level of clarity, I can see all the things that I say I wanted. I can see increase all around me. And I can see prosperity all around me. I can see happiness. I can see joy. I can see that nobody has any issues with me because the, the people who have issues with me, they, they are outside of that bubble of protection. So they're just kind of sort of left to whatever happens to them, right? So also, this is you being patient as everything unfolds. Again, people are being ex people are being exposed. Things are being exposed within you. Like, okay, all right, Cancer, you want to start that new business? Go do it. Take that leap of faith. You got to see it. You got to see everything that you say that you wanted. You got to see it. Also, being patient with this whole process. Like sitting down. Okay, again, writing out your intentions. Whatever those intentions are, your intentions could be for great health. Your intentions could be for a sound mind, for long life, for, to have a great day, could be financially wealthy, could be, um, and, and wealth meaning health also. Um, um, whatever your intentions are, you're setting those intentions and you're being patient and you're digging deeper and you're being courageous. So the courageous part, see how this person is standing here with their toe up right here? They're like, okay, I'm in expectancy mode. I am on fire. I have fire in my belly. I'm expecting wonderful things to happen because I know I'm protected on all sides. Ooh, look at you, Cancer. This is what I'm talking about, Cancer. I'm talking about in this new phase for you, you don't care what people are saying about you behind your back. You don't care what people said about you in the past. None of that matters. You know beyond all shadows of a doubt that you are protected. Yes, Cancer, I see so many things happening for you till it's not even funny. I see some of you all getting increases in the workplace where people just want to work with you. You're not having any stress, strain, or struggle. <clears throat> Excuse me, I see new opportunities coming your way. I mean, expansion beyond what you could ever even think, dream, or even imagine because the, the landing strip has been cleared for you to take off. Let's talk about the number 75 for a second. 75 actually channels joyful freedom from a place of serenity. It also means that you realize that listening to your spiritual perception inspires you to be adventurous and actually take risks, right? Again, knowing that you are protected, knowing that you have good karma and you're spinning in your favor, good will of fortune, and you're optimistic of a new beginning, plus you got your amethyst, <laughs> letting you, getting you to that, which resonates with what? The crown chakra. Yes, resonates with the crown. So you don't have to be frazzled. You don't have to, you know, vibrate low at all right? Again, you can continue being a sweetheart, continue giving your best because your focus is so tight. Nothing around you bothers you. You're like, you already know no weapon forms against you will ever prosper. So that's what's happening right now. Oh, I'm loving this for you. I'm just, I'm so excited. <laughs> Cancer. I'm so excited. It just doesn't even make any sense. See this, this you in this phase of your life, because we're talking about moon phases. We're talking, they happen every single month, right? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. This phase of your life, what's happening with you right now is, you know what? You're like, okay, I'm going to dig deeper. I'm, I'm going to really, really dig deeper because I come from a long line of women who were really, really strong, right? How is it that they were able to focus, their focus was so tight and, and they were able to achieve the things that they were able to achieve. I know people were jealous of them. I know people tried to plot, plan, and scheme against them. But hey, I'm going to take some of that strength and I'm going to apply it to my life. Yes. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Let's go. Oh, look at you, cancer. Oh, my God. For real. I mean, look. You're looking for... Um, you're looking for... Um, this is um, 
you're taking a more practical approach towards your money, right? When it comes to your money, like I said, perfect synergy in the workplace when it comes to your money, you're tapping into your strength. This is you tapping into your divine masculine side. You're like, nah, I'm tapping into my strength. You're also going into hermit mode, just kind of sort of taking the time, again, mindfulness, doing your meditation, your prayers, all those things, getting into this mode of thinking. Yes, I love, love, love this. You're in introspection mode. What are my next steps? And you are fearless. You have a responsibility this is the immediate, this is the abrupt information that's coming down, that's coming down to your spirit. Remember I talked about your side of your tower moment being like immediate information being downloaded into your spirit. You're like, no, hold on. I'm not even fearful. There's nothing that I fear. Nothing. I know I'm protected on all sides. So there's nothing that I fear. And look, multiple streams of income as a result of it. This is what I'm talking about, cancer. You don't care what people think about you. You don't care what they say. You're not allowing toxic energies to attach themselves to you because those people have been cut off. And I'm talking about cut off at the root. You're not even looking back. You're not even thinking about the past because the past is the past. See, that was the waning crescent moon. We're in a waxing crescent moon, right? We had the new moon in between the waning and, and waxing. We had the new moon there. New moon lasted for one day. That it took you one day to say, you know what, onward and upward. Yes, the past is the past. That one day you took to relax, you said, okay, I'm going to quietly start creating some things. Boom, you will move right into the waxing crescent moon. And you said, listen, multiple streams of income. I can see it. I can see it. I'm patient. I can see it. And you're balancing out your daily affairs when it comes to your money. So listen, Cancer, the majority of cards that I see for you right now are money cards. Money cards, money cards, money cards. Not only is work is working in your favor, I'm talking about your day-to-day -day business, your job that you go to. If you're working for someone else, that's working out. Perfect synergy for you, right? So expect, um, you know, expect to just be protected in the workplace. Somebody is working on your behalf behind the scenes to make sure a, a path is cleared for you, Cancer. Not only that, you having, some of y'all are starting your businesses, you're starting to see, okay, I see multiple streams of income. In your meditation time, you see money flowing to you like water. Money flowing to you like water. You also seeing all sorts of wonderful things happening for you. Not only that, you just see perfect synergy in every area of your life. So you're happier. You feel lighter. You feel like, okay, you know what? The world is really my oyster. That's what I'm saying. You're a very strong person. You have infinite fire, infinite knowledge, wisdom, all sorts of things happening for you. I'm loving this spread for you, Cam. I mean, for real. This is nice. <laughs> <laughs> cancer. This is really, really nice. When I tell you, I need y'all to go sit down somewhere and start manifesting wealth, start manifesting wealth. And I'm talking about and be in expectancy mode. And I'm, when I say setting your intentions every day, yes, setting your, see this person right here, they got their foot up. I need to reiterate this because I need y'all to get this. See this person, they have their foot up. This person is in expectancy mode. They're on fire. They're like, I know something great is happening for me. I know that I am protected. Today is a great day because that's the intention I set. Today is a prosperous day. Today is a healthy day. Today is a wealthy day. Today, I intend, you know, setting your intentions, setting your intentions. Let's pull an oracle card. Let's pull an oracle card. And then we're going to talk about the number 75. Look, Cancer, plan your vacation. Cancer, look at this. Plan your vacation. I'm trying to tell you. Y'all got some wonderful things happening for you. Listen, don't delay, Cancer. Let's talk about the number 75. You got to see this thing in faith because it is happening right now. You're manifesting this life for yourself. You don't have any issues and you don't have any enemies at work. You don't have any people that are trying to disrupt your business at all. When you are creating multiple streams of income, you're saying, I don't have any issues in business. Money is just flowing to me like water. I don't have any issues whatsoever. I am completely debt free the whole nine yards. Like life is just great, better than I expected because of all that I've been depositing, all the good energy I've been depositing into the universe, all of it's coming back with interest. Good, great karma coming back, spinning in my favor with interest. Listen, the number 75 channels joyful freedom from a place of serenity, right? In this phase of your life from now moving forward, you are in a place of serenity and calmness and cool and just, again, 
balancing out your energies, right? Again, not just allowing anybody to attach themselves to you. Matter of fact, this tower moment will prevent it because again, it's a protective shield around you. So anybody that comes towards you that don't have your best interest at heart, the universe already took care of it. So what that could look like for you, Cancer, is let's say for instance, um, somebody wants to come to your house that you haven't talked to in a, in a long time, or even if you've seen them on a regular basis, something will happen like all of a sudden they'll call you and tell you their car broke down the universe, or they'll call you and say, oh shoot, can we reschedule the universe? Or they may call you and say, or a, an argument could break out. They'd be like, you know what? I really thought about a cancer and I just thought we don't want, I don't want to be your friend anymore. The universe, all of it. You're protected from ever on every side cancer. So get ready, get ready, get ready for wealth. And I'm talking about multiple streams of income that you created, right? So 75 is all, like I said, freedom from a place of serenity. You are absolutely free, right? Also, it means that you realize that listening to your spiritual perception inspires you to be adventurous and to take risks. So again, you know that you're you know that you are you're protected on all sides. The universe has your back at all times. Anything that tries to come up against you is is actually destroyed. And so this is where you're starting to take risks. You're like, okay, you know what? I've been wanting to sing for years. I'm going to go ahead and just step out on faith and do it. I'm, I've been wanting to start that business for years. I'm going to step out on faith and do it. I've been wanting to... Um, um, invest in homes. I'm going to step out on faith and I'm going to do it. I'm going to manifest that thing. You know what? I want to go back to school. I'm going to step out on faith and do it because everything is spinning in your favor because of you. I'm telling you, people don't realize they create their own karma. Everybody creates their own karma. Your enemies created theirs, but you also created yours. You created good karma because of your spirit, because of your heart. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, we, we already had the plan a vacation car, so I'm like, <laughs> excited for y'all. I'm so, so, so excited. I'm so excited. So again, we talk about intentions. Okay. Some of the intentions, and these are just examples. I intend to lead by example. Um, I intend to love unconditionally. Um, I intend to eat better because I deserve to live a long life. I intend to manifest peace, happiness, joy, agape love. I intend to meditate daily or weekly or monthly, but just regularly. I just intend to meditate because being in this posture right here and seeing that thing and you're writing those intentions out and saying what you are, you can see it in the now. You can see yourself in your palatial home. You can see yourself driving one of the finest cars. You can see yourself hopping on and off planes or jets. You can see yourself in certain um, traveling to certain areas where it's just calm and serene. You can see yourself on a boat just floating across a body of water and just like no harm, no hurt, harm, or danger coming to you, sitting up under the nice warm sun. I mean, really, you can see yourself in all of these places. And this is what I have for you. This is what I'm talking about, Cancer. Start planning your trips. Okay, start planning your vacation. It's time for you to finally go on vacation. I mean, everything. It's just a clear, just before I even pull this car, remember I said the, the um, runway, if the path is clear, see, that's what I'm talking about. Not even by coincidence. Time for you to go on a vacation. Bye.